For me, painting was always a peace of mind moment, you know, and, and, and a window into something that I'm interacting with all kinds of energy. So I guess that's why it went that way, really, on the start. But painting on the studio, doing studio work and on the street is just completely different ball game altogether. It's, um, you can try and, you know, use the same subject, the same inspirations in a way, like my work, nature or some, some stuff, but on studio you're, very, you, you're with your own self, that's it, you know, There's, that's why you work in your own space, in your own mind and there is no outside interaction at all, really, you know. And on the street is completely opposite, you know. No matter what you have inside, and you, everything on the outside influences on what you're doing. Even if you don't want to, even if you come with the, that drawing from your home, and oh, I want to repeat exactly that. But when you get there, for sure, something's going to happen. It's going to, you know, be different. Or the outside environment really, I think, changes the sensorial and the, what influences and what is inspiring you to do something. I think. It really makes a difference. And I think my work on the studio have reflects a lot of what I do on the streets, you know. Um, so I, I don't see myself not doing stuff on the public environment for the rest of my career, really. I would say it started naturally of all that, you know, golden ratio and all the spirals and all that started long ago and and then it was just recently about a year ago that that High Raf and other, you know, fellow artists made one they actually show me sacred geometry in the right concept and actually oh this exists, you know, and then and then everything was related to that already. I'm working on it um, consciously, you know. But it came naturally, for sure it came naturally. It's just Graffiti can never be fine art. It's two different things. Fine art is, 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 is basically concerned about the intellectual content within a, an aesthetic. So it's all about the intellectual content in that piece of art and its techniques as aesthetic. And in graffiti, it's the opposite. Graffiti is, is characterized by where it is and how it's done, not by what is in there or how it's made. It. That's why there's so much confusion or debate around that thing, because I think that concept is still building up. Because a lot of artists that do stuff on the street, or is what has been called street art, is going to the galleries. For me, one thing adds to the other. Before it was like painting trains, it's different from painting murals. You know, you paint quick, you learn different things, you learn how to do a letter in two minutes, three minutes, you know, whereas you can spend four or five hours in a piece on a mural and, you know, it's going to be different. There's other techniques, you can work different. And that just makes an artist more developed and with more skills to do whatever he wants. You know. At the moment, it's a contemporary kind of art. It's a, you know, urban art that is in development.